Hey everybody, it's Sunday evening and I got one finished um, yesterday. I actually got the sheath all done and the oil has just dried out to the point where um, I can actually give it to the guy. I made this for my buddy at work. This project, uh, gosh, it's going on three years now and I had finished this knife and gave it to him one time and uh, just compared to a knife I, grow, I, I ground out many years ago you can see the difference. Uh, this is this was my personal hunting knife, and um, this of course is a left-handed sheath. So, and that's why I had to get it back from him because at the time uh, I just assumed that everybody in the world was right-handed. Of course, he didn't say anything. He took the knife, he used it a few times, and I noticed him writing at the office one day, and I went, "You're left-handed." <laughs> I got it back from him, and plus the other sheath I had made was a Kydex sheath, which, um, you know, I, some guys make Kydex sheaths for all of their knives, and I have decided uh, from now on, uh, for several knives to go on, if it has a wood handle and a nice wood handle, it's going to get a leather sheath, and particularly if it's a hunting knife, I'm going to put it in a leather sheath, so... I did go ahead and make a left-handed sheath, that's a little drainage hole there. Uh, in case he uh, gets caught in the rain. Um, but yeah, and the only difference between this knife and, and any of the ones that I'm doing now, um, this this is a hollow ground blade, and I don't really don't know if you can see that, and has that neat sort of oil smudge on there I'm not really going to worry about. But uh, just a concave surface, and that is simply made by your, your, your contact wheel as you grind. It's a matter of preference, um, whether you hollow grind or flat grind um, I don't think one has really uh, too many advantages over the other except for uh, sheer strength I do think a, a flat ground blade is going to uh, be ultimately stronger um, although these are nice and strong uh, nice you know it's all in the heat treat anyway but yeah um, and the only thing I ever I did you know that I don't do on um, on these knives is when I do a 3 16th stock knife like this one I'll taper the tang and that's more for balance um, it, it adds a little bit of cosmetic I guess to it and these have red liners in the handles but uh, for me it's a balance issue I want the balance point of the knife to be right here um, where you're holding it instead of you know the whole weight of the knife and if you noticed I did not do that on this knife I ground um, my gosh I say 20 years, but it's been longer than that. This is like the second or third knife I ever made. And it's a 3 16th blade. And see, it's untapered. And this, like I said, this was my personal hunting knife back when I hunted. And um, it's it's a flat ground. And actually, it, it's more of a saber ground in where it's actually concave. But yeah, um, I wish um, I had tapered this tang because this knife is kind of handle heavy. Um, so the first time I made a 3 16th blade and tapered it, I, I liked the difference that I felt. So, But I'm not going to tear this one apart simply to regrind the tang and put a new handle on it. This is, uh, gosh, this is before I even marked my knives. Um, I did have a, a stamp. And you can't see that, but um, I used to have an old uh, tang stamp that I used to use. But I only stamped the sheaves. I didn't stamp the blades because I've had knives warp right where the stamp was. It just compresses the metal under the stamp. And I don't like to take a chance on tang stamping. So, But yeah, I think he's going to like this. Um, burl maple handle. And this is the same burl maple. I have a big block of it. That I put on that slimline hunter uh, that you saw a few videos back. So yeah, I'm, I'm eager to get this one to him tomorrow. And he has been looking, uh, he's been hunting, um, actually. He's a bow hunter, and he's been um, trying the last couple of weekends to get a deer. And he gives me the meat when he gets one. And I really do appreciate that. So, um, armed with his, uh, hope it's going to be a good luck charm. Next time he goes out, I hope he bags one. And I'll, I'll go down there and help him uh, process it. So, it might video some of that. I don't know if I'll post it on YouTube because it's uh, <clears throat> a little gross, I guess. But, um, I don't know. Might, uh, might send it to a few, of the, a few of my viewers that I know wouldn't be offended. 
by seeing a deer get skinned out and quartered. But anyway, I'm looking forward to getting this to him. I, uh, I'm glad to finally get it done. Little lull in there with the move and then with the whole heart thing kind of put me uh, to where I didn't want to work on anything. So this one's been waiting. So it does feel good to finally get this finished out and, and back to him. So just wanted to show you that, guys. Uh, another thing that I finally did, I know I said that I was going to make uh, a sweat point version of this little slimline drop point. And I went ahead and did that. This is the pattern for it. Just a gentle little sweat point. And then this is the blade blank. I just finished profiling, got it drilled, chamfered. Now I'm ready to grind the bevels. I have these three knives ready for heat treatment. And this knife, um, before I turn in this evening, I, I believe I'm going to be able to get that ground down. So tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to fire up the furnace and get four blades heat treated and ready to go. And these four blades are going to be the ones that I uh, rust blue along with the checkered wood handles. Um, most of them are probably going to be walnut, but I will try one in this, uh, this beautiful uh, maple that I found at Woodcraft. Just wanting to see this face like uh, on one of these knives, and I'm really thinking about this sweat point version um, of, of this drop point and using that one for, the, uh, for this curly maple. So we'll see. I got my work cut out for me, but I love doing it. So just want to give you a little update, guys, and uh, have a great one.